Good morning. What a night. My first night in a tent. Whew. Right, it's rained constantly all through the night. I've slept for ten hours. I've I've not slept in for ten hours in years. In absolutely years. I admit it, I woke up about three times in the night, but only for like two minutes and then straight back to sleep again. It's been the best night's sleep I've had in ages. It's been warm. It's been like eight to ten degrees Celsius. And very comfy. Oh, I've just had a really relaxing time. But it has rained all night and I really want to just get out of here and I want, I'd like to pack up and just try and find another spot for tonight. I don't want to go far, I just want to find a better spot. Um, I have, I didn't eat anything yesterday, I just had a couple of biscuits and snack bars. This morning I've just had a chilli con carne, cold. It's going to be a bit of a challenge cooking food on my Kelly stove. I need to, that's why I just need to get to a camp early today and spend some time. The weather's meant to pick up and I can relax a bit more. Still all a bit stressful at the moment, but if I can just get a camp set up, uh, I'll be happy. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this rain to ease off and then I'll get up and make a coffee. Right, I'm all packed and ready to go. That's day one over with. Um, I'm not going to go far. I might only go a mile. I just need to find a better spot for tonight. It's half past, nearly, nearly 11 o'clock already. I had no idea it was so late. Um, it's taken me that long to pack everything up. So I better get cracking, really. I've taken a few bits with me. I've just put in a bag, I've put some of this which is perfect for burning and it's been up on the see the hide hide there someone's made it was on there so it's all dry so that's good and then I found a fallen tree down there and it's all like moss on it and that's all dry as well so I've just taken some of that to start my stove tonight because everything's going to be wet from the rain there's no wind it's really good conditions right now it's not cold so let's get on with it. Um, say goodbye to me little campsite bit. Leave no trace, remember. It's all clean. And uh, say goodbye to Lock and Elian. 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 Say goodbye to that Lock over there. I am so unfit, it's untrue. Uh, Lock. What's this place called? Oh. Oh. Look, Gamna. Now this trail, which I chose, there's a sign saying uh, path not maintained, trail not maintained. I've come down it and look how, see how narrow it is? It's okay if you're not carrying any bags, but I've got two hand bags and they're just dragging through all the heather on the way through. Very, very hard work. I'll get my fitness back, don't you worry. Not that I ever had it. I'll find some. I just need a few weeks. One thing I wasn't expecting on this trip was to find places to camp. I thought there'd be loads and loads of spots you can just camp anywhere. You can't because it's all heather and moss and bumpy and shrubby. It's There's just nowhere to pitch a tent. So you've just got to keep walking and walking and walking until something turns up. Right, camp number two is going to be right here. I know people won't like this. Everyone was telling me on Facebook yesterday, don't go under trees. Um, there's a lot of fallen trees here. <laughs> but there's zero wind and there's no wind, no rain forecast tonight. It's going to be perfect. 
So I'm pretty sure I'm safe and I can't find anywhere else what's flat. This is a very steep, steep hill up here. And if I keep going further along, which I'm, I'm going that way, I'm just going further and further away from water. That just gets deeper and deeper into a forest. So, and that's my water source there. There's a lock there. So I've decided to stick with this. It's only one o'clock. So I've got about three hours of daylight left. So I can set up and relax today rather than yesterday when I was rushing about. I can chill out a bit. Who knows, I might even stay here tomorrow and just have a day off. My shoulders are hurting me. Just relax, be a bum. There's tonight's little camp. My second attempt, it was a lot easier this time. Um, still took me half an hour, I reckon, but I'm happier with that today. I've put, I've got a ground sheet down. I've also put a tarp down as well because I was sicking, sick of getting mucky knees when I came out of it. It's such a small, narrow entrance and you've got to dodge the wire here. But yeah, I'm all set up in there. Um, I'm just going to go get some water and I'll make myself a coffee and have a little sit down and I'll have a chat with you. Yeah, we're getting very deep in the forest here. It's, well, we're not, we're on the edge of it, but uh, it's starting to feel like forest now. This is what I like. I haven't seen any animals yet, but I can hear more birds here than in my last place. So I'm hoping Fingers crossed we can find some wildlife later. I'm starting to get a little bit fed up of uh, Mr. Kelly Kettle, to be honest with you. Making a cup of coffee, sorry, hot chocolate, shouldn't be so hard. It really shouldn't. Um, I think it's probably perfect for in summer. But when the ground's wet, it's quite hard to get going. But hey, I'm going to have a nice hot chocolate. It's one of these army ration ones. Big thank you to my mate who sent me all my army gear and uh, army rations. I really appreciate it. I won't say your name because I don't want you getting into any trouble. So I didn't eat anything yesterday. Just a couple of snack bars, energy bars. This morning I just had cold chilli. Tonight, what am I having? Oh, the bag's over here. I'm having... Chicken, yellow, curry, rice, and a bap. That's all. I'm going to save sausages for the morning. I'm not going to get too adventurous. So, yeah, I've got it roasting nicely over a bed of burning tampax, tampons. And that's my first hot meal. Very nice. And I've been to the toilet. It's all coming into place, you see. It just takes time. I'm just trying to do a bit of bird spotting. I can hear them, but I can't see them. I'm blaming these binoculars. Or it might just be two leaves scraping together. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again another day. Look at that sun. Woo! Wow, in your face. So basically I could do with the rest. I'm tired, my legs are aching, my shoulders are aching, everywhere's aching really, my tummy's aching, even my tummy's aching, my nose doesn't feel too good either. So I might just have a day off tomorrow and it'll give me a chance to show you what gear I've got. This is annoying me, this is really annoying me. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes at this time of year. I didn't think these would be a problem. But in this wood, they are. And it's a warm day, you see. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my gear. I'm pretty disappointed about the animals. I haven't seen any animals. I saw a duck. A duck. I can see that on my local canal. Um, there's meant to be badgers, red squirrels, little things, I think they're called pine martins. I want to see one of them. Um, and deer hundreds of thousands of deer. There's even reindeer up on one of the mountains. So, fingers crossed we find something. That's why I got this camera, because it zooms in 30 times and I can get close-ups of animals. I, mean, I haven't seen any. So, you'll just have to stick with a, a close-up of me. Morning. I'm sorry for looking so fantastic right now, but 
I just had about another, I don't know, 11 hours sleep. I'm telling you, if you ever struggle to sleep, go camping. I had 10 hours sleep first night. I've had 11, maybe even 12 hours sleep um, tonight, last night. And I only woke up because I had a dream. I was, I was in, uh, I found, basically I was asked to clean out a horse's box. Okay. And I found a pelican, but the pelican was dead. And inside the pelican's mouth was, what, oh, what animal was that? Oh, a penguin. There were a dead penguin inside a dead pelican's mouth when I was cleaning out a horse box in Disneyland in America. So, yeah, that were... I don't think that's a dream what's going to come true. But, hey, it happened in my dream. I don't want to get up, to be honest with you. It's nearly half past eight in the morning. And I'm just so cosy. Ooh. Quite cold when I woke up today, at about four degrees, and I felt it because I was in the shade. But the sun's just come over the mountain now, and look at that beautiful! What a lovely day it's going to be. It's supposed to be sunny all day, and maybe all tomorrow as well. So I'm just going to have a lot of fun today, relaxing in the sun. There's the lock in the background. This is what you want, isn't it? This is what we come out for. Could do a McDonald's there, though. Okay, first disaster of my trip. Not happy, not happy. Just cut my finger. This is the... This is what I attach the phone to, which you're looking at through now. And it holds it onto the uh, tripod, and it's snapped. And it's cut my finger in the process. Um, so that is a real shame, that, that means I can't put you on this long arm thing so you can see me from further away. Oh man, and I can't have you on the tripod on my phone. That is a disaster. Um, and it were only £5 this, well, you, that's why. Anyway, clean myself up and get on with it, what more can you do, eh? I've just remembered that my football team Liverpool are playing in about 1 hour and 15 minutes it's going to be the first time I've missed them all year now if there's anyone very 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 rich out there who doesn't live too 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 far away please just drop by with a helicopter and a satellite dish for me or just come and get me out and take me to a pub just for a couple of hours and then drop me back again please I can't believe I'm missing football. Is it really worth it to miss Liverpool? So this is what just broke on me, guys. Full of blood, as you can see. Um, basically, you can stick a selfie stick on there or you can stick it on your tripod, and I've used it a lot because this is the only way I can see my face as I'm recording. Um, using the other camera, I can't see what, what I'm recording if I'm recording myself, so I really do rely on this. I've just tried super glue. I don't think it's gonna work for a, for a minute, but I'm just gonna leave that for 24 hours and I'll put some tape around it as well and fingers crossed, fingers crossed I can use it again. And like an idiot, I got uh, super glue on my trousers. Yes! <laughs> Just as I started filming, Liverpool have scored against Chelsea. Get in! I was just putting this on to show you that unbelievably I'm here out in the wild and I can still pick up my, my football team. I'm not missing the game, guys. And Liverpool have just scored! After eight minutes, who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Oh, look at the goal! Look at the goal! Look at the goal! Look at the goal! Getting! Buzzing! Absolutely buzzing! So, you just enjoy yourselves. I'm just going to sit here and watch football for the next uh, 81 minutes. Woohoo! Getting! Now, I know a lot of you are wanting to know what equipment I've taken on my trip. Um, so, I'm going to start today with a very simple one. I'm going to show you my little survival kit. Okay, so I'll put it in a little first aid kit. 
very small, not much to it at all. Um, I can't really show you from this camera, it's going to be a bit wobbly. So I'll put it on the floor, I'll lay it out and I'll just go run through the little bits one by one for you. Okay, this is going to be really hard to film because I'm having to lie right down on the floor to get in, in film. So I bought this, I think it was £8, a first aid kit, okay. But it was just full of plasters and things which I don't think I'll need. Saying that, I've already used the plaster, I'm on day two. So, and it were all quite spread out. So I've just thrown it all into one, one side of it, okay. I'll just get this out. I took some of the plasters out. I didn't need 40, 50 bloody plasters. So I've got, I don't know, about eight, eight plasters there. Alcohol-free cleaning wipes, two of them. Uh, water purifying tablets. Alcohol prep pads. A uh, few more bits of dressing. Wound cleansing wipe. Just bits you see, and some blister plaster th things as well. Headache tablets or painkillers, Neurofen. And some of them for if you need stitches, you know, you put it over to hold your skin together. So that's my entire first aid bit, and I put it all in one side, leaving the other side free, which I thought I'd use for the survival side of things. Okay, so I'll show you what I've got in here. This is bits which I'm probably not even going to need. I'm probably not going to use, but you never know. I've got, that was a present from Norman, uh, one of these little saws, saw some wood. It might come in, you never know, it's very sharp. It's not, it's not like some of the cheaper ones you see. It's a very sharp one, is that? Um, I've got a mirror, obviously I can use that for signalling, but I'm using it to shave, as I did this morning. Uh, magnifying glass, some sewing things, um, some sewing line and needles. Some of these came out of a, a pack, my Tinder pack, which I'll go into in another video, uh, which was a present from Amanda and her daughter. Thank you guys, that was a fantastic Tinder gift you gave me. Some of these are from Holly, that's from Holly. And Holly sent me some pegs as well. You never know what you're going to need, you see. So I've got some pegs. When I need to wash some clothes, I can hang them up in the tent. A small biro. A bit more sewing gear. I can't even sew. That's the funny thing. I don't know how to sew. I know how to do the bits. I know how to do the knot at the end, start sewing. But I never know how to finish it at the end. How, how do you stop it from just unravelling back out again? I don't know how to get a knot on the end. And I should know because my mum was a sewer and she taught us in school how to sew, but I never paid attention. Super glue. Didn't think I'd need it. I've just used it. I've just used it in an attempt to fix this, so let's hope it works. Uh, just a few keyring chain thingies. Safety pin. Tiny little peg, look at the size of that baby. You never know. I've got a little compass in here. Um, some tape. Wrapped around something, I don't know what. No, it's just a piece of credit card, I think. Just some tape, that was out of my other pack. Bit more uh, sewing gear. <whistles> whistle, should always carry a whistle just in case bit of string, a uh, couple of buttons and that's it, that's, oh and I've put a, a survival, what do you call them, can't, can't think what you call them, them silvery foily things you wrap yourself up in if you get too cold and you're dying, so that is my entire survival kit and it gets into something as small as that. If I've done anything right when it comes to packing gear and getting what you can in what, that's it. What a size, and it weighs nothing. So there you go, that's your first gear uh, show from me. Okay, I'm going foraging. Um, not for mushrooms, 
Not for berries, not for anything like that. I'm looking for things I can burn, okay? Because this is the problem with having this Kelly kettle stove. You need to make proper fires to make it go. It's not a, it doesn't take gas. So you're relying on having dry material around to burn all the time. Now, I've got this bag, which is what my tripod came in. I'm just going to start using this to fill it up with dry things to burn. Because I did use a carrier bag and it's all split open, so... The first thing, this is one of the best things I've found so far, just dead ferns. Um, I'll put a load of these in. Like, they don't last long, but once you've got a flame and you put these in, it just goes whoosh. And it just all sets on fire and anything around it will set on fire. So that's brilliant stuff. I'm going to grab a load of that and then I'm going to find some birch, I think. We've got a silver birch which has come down here. There's quite a lot of trees come down, actually. Um, but they're all, they're all scotch pines and birches. Um, I don't know my trees at all. But I think that's all what's around here. You tell me if you see anything different. But this is ideal. It's fallen down. It's not touching the ground. You don't want it when it's touching the ground. It'll be very wet. But, well, I'll take that bit off. Half of that's dry. And that's perfect. I'll take a load of this. And it's got, again, it's got this moss on, which burns really well. Just a load of dead wood here off a fallen branch. This is all dry, nice twigs. That'll do nicely. Yeah, sticks. They're basically made out of wood, and wood burns, okay? If you see anything which is metal, or plastic, or anything like that, don't pick it up, because it won't burn. Um, silver birch, by the way, the, the bark off silver birch, it, it's got like a resin inside it which burns very, very well. Um, but you people who do this regularly, you'll already know that, but my regular my regular viewers might not know. Some of them are a bit thick. Wood burns. I read it in a book somewhere. Some pine cones there. I've heard they're good for burning. We'll soon find out, won't we? What is starting to worry me a little bit is I've got all this tinder, okay? And it's perfect. That's going to keep me going a while. And I can get the dry sticks you know, things to burn, that's not a problem. Everything's all right at the moment, but my lighters are letting me down. I've obviously bought cheap lighters, and I'm relying on these at the moment. I'm not breaking into this stuff, which I'll show you another time. I'm relying, like there's some silver birch there. I've just uh, got some of that off the tree. I'm relying at the moment on my soaked tampons and because I'm finding it very easy just to pull them apart, set one alight, and it keeps going for a good five minutes. Um, so I'm relying on them, but once they've gone, and then, I'm, you know, I'm only a couple of weeks away, really, from not having anything to start a fire. I can do it. I've tried it there. I don't know if you can see by... You shave the silver bark, maybe this is just a bit too damp, I don't know. And try to ignite it. But anyway, I'll carry on as I am. It's still only a few days in, so I'm sure I'll come up with an idea eventually. For now, I'm making a coffee, it's going to be another tampon. See how easily that lights? And that will keep going now. So you want to know what food I've brought with me. Now, a big, big thank you to my friend Daniel. I'm not going to tell you any more about him. Um, for giving me these. He actually drove all the way to the Dana van to give me them. He stayed the night, we had a few beers, and I really appreciate what you did for me, Daniel. And here's some of the foods I've got, look, a rice pudding, two lots of rice, bacon, beans in tomato sauce, beef stroganoff, beef goulash, tuna, two tunas, that one's with uh, lime and pepper, beef with cassava, I don't even know what that is, beef stroganoff, 
chicken and vegetable biryani, sausage casserole, and I don't know what that is. Chicken masam masaman potato. That sounds interesting. So that's some of my foods, guys. Um, they're very nice, the ones I've had so far. I'm loving them. What I really wanted to do is a proper review on, on like an army 24-hour 24, 24 climate pack, they're called. But it was so heavy for one of these boxes, I, didn't, I couldn't bring it along. So I might do that in a separate video when I get back home. Um, but yeah, I've got all these to eat. What I've decided, they're very heavy. That's the only problem with them, they're very heavy. And I'm struggling to cook on this on this stove. I've I've not brought. I haven't got the right gear really. What I'm going to do at my next port of call, my next village. There's a village about five five six miles ahead, I think. I'm going to buy a lot of cold things like cold meats and things, which I can just have in sandwiches. That's one. And some of the lighter things like pot noodles and you know things which aren't heavy I'm gonna eat through these and love them don't get me wrong but then we're gonna uh, have another look at his food situation there's a daddy long leg thing a daddy long leg it were on my bacon beans and tomato sauce where are you I wasn't expecting spiders out in woods I just had a really big bird flying over. I'll try and repeat its noise. It went. <coughs> what was it? What makes that noise? It was big. Well, the day's nearly at an end, or the light is anyway. I'm just having a cup of tea. It's hard to make a cup of tea in wild, I'll tell you, it's not not like clicking a button at home. You think, oh, I fancy a cup of tea, and then you think, oh, it's going to take me half an hour. But it's worth it, it tastes a lot nicer. Anyway, I'm just sat here pondering as you do. I don't know, do you? Do you ponder? I do. I'm always pondering. I think it gives you a healthy mind if you ponder a lot. I've just been sat here thinking about a couple of things really. Firstly, like cows, yeah? Milk comes out of the teats. If a cow laughed, would the milk come out of its nose? I'm doubting it, but it's just something to ponder. Cows have never laughed, have they? And then there's the other one. Why do your feet smell and your nose runs? Surely your feet should run and your nose smell. You know, who came up with these words? Who made the dictionary and the definitions of words? Because they cocked up there, didn't they? They really did. Not that my feet ever smell. And that's the truth. Never have smelly feet. I've had the same socks on for three days. I could wear them for three months. You wouldn't notice. I just don't get sweaty feet at all. Very lucky like that. Take after my mother. She's the same. Right then. I'll leave you at that. I've had a, a lovely day. A very relaxing day. I'm going to move on tomorrow deeper into the forest. I've not seen a soul today, it's been very nice. And for a Saturday I thought I might see a few people walking past, but nobody. So I'm going to stroll not far. I'm in no rush to go anywhere. I'm just going to go that way towards, there's a village up there called Kin Craig. I want to be there in a couple of days time. Um, there's a post office. I think I'm going to send some more gear back to my mum to lighten my load again. Things which I think I can do without, so... Have a good evening, I will, and I'll saw, oh, by the way, Liverpool lost 2-1, but at least I saw the Liverpool goal. Have a good evening, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye everyone, take care, sleep well. Well you asked for more videos, so don't miss the all new lineup for 2015. Deep Fried Dan returns every Monday, cooking concoctions in the kitchen. How disgusting, people are eating this. All across the world. Ooh. Right, I've mixed it all together. If it's meant to be a door, it's not. Wednesdays are all about travel, following my adventures in wild camping Scotland. Boo. 
Okay, so you want me to try and get a fire going, do you? Got Mummy Hill, Daddy Hill, Baby Hill, Benny Hill, Jimmy Hill, Damon Hill. It's just hills everywhere. Fridays see the return of metal detecting as I continue my search for history and treasure. Bang, 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 and with more wild camping on Sunday and possibly even more thrown in through the night, you can be sure I'm here to annoy you all week and every week. Click subscribe and join me next time, only on YouTube.